Charleston, North Carolina. What's up, baby? Woo! To my family, I'm coming home. I got to take a photo, baby. Woo! No gatekeeper, man. You can't beat, you can't <laughs> train experience, man. Hey, I'm not even in there, brother. Hey, hey, hey. Gatekeeper, man. You got everything you need. What a gatekeeper, man. Uh, this fight was, man, it was so many people betting against me and having so much negative to say, but I had so much support. Uh, Henry Hoof, oh my gosh, you know, ever since I go down there, the guy is like straightforward, he's believing in me, and he's always like, hey man, you're not a gatekeeper, show these guys you gotta run, you want a title run, let's go. So, man, I, I'm, I'm ecstatic right now. Henry, do you remember the knockout? At the end of the second round, do you think you were knocked out? No, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Your head looked like you went to the left and went out. It was more exhausted, I think, than he was there. He was responding to me normally, very normally. He was throwing all these looping hard punches, but you, you, your guard was up. He didn't hit you with anything, really. And when he threw hard, then you blocked, and he kicked you in the body, and he was not moving. He was like, you know? I thought we were going to stop the fight in the second round. Oh, that last punch <laughs> was like, yeah. That last, that was yeah, I, thought was yeah, I think he thought it was over, too. So when he blew the whistle, he waited there for a minute. Great fight, kid. Congratulations. You look great tonight, man. Impressive. Got the, got the big win. How does this one feel compared to the other? It was my most media filled fight, you know, it had a lot of eyes, you know, this kid Shabazzian was like the golden boy and everybody's really believing, you know, his rise. I'm not as young as he is, you know, so beating a young guy like that with all the energy, you know, and being able to hang with him speed for speed and put on a good performance, you know, it felt really good. Need that, wow, bro. So, yeah, not the last one too. How do you how do you feel like as being the coach? You just like I'm just like I was just enjoying the whole fight because you know it was just like everything everything that you that you're doing every fight I see you get a little better. For me as a coach, I'm gonna get drunk and feel good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then next week. I know you're hitting the spray, <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back in a couple of minutes and that's right. you guys. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Heck yeah, man. I live upset with myself. I should have had a title shot by now. I should have, you know, been in bigger moments by now. But just me not having the right attitude and just trying to be greedy, trying to go out there and just rush things, and put me in this spot. So I'm going to keep reaching. You know, I need to achieve my goal. I need to uh, go after what I set out to do when I first started this sport. My goal was to be champion. And until I'm able to get that title shot and put myself in that spot, you know, I, I don't feel like my mission is complete.